What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, I want to say thank you so much for the continued support. I'm so close to 200 subscribers. I wanted to hit 200 before the end of the year. It looks like we're going to do that. I want to say thank you so much. If you're interested in seeing me on Twitch or just hearing what I have to say on Twitter, you can check me out on TikTok. All of those links are down below in the description. If you're new here, make sure you like and comment if you enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're interested. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot, guys. Also, if you guys would be so kind, check out my friends JStorm and Pat. Their links are in the description. We had a great game. They were a ton of fun. They're really funny guys. They stream on Twitch. If you like what I do, you'll like what they do. So check them out. So let's talk about the most mysterious legend in the Outlands, Bloodhound. Bloodhound is a fast-paced recon legend that can appeal to just about any playstyle. But what has personally worked best for me is playing medium range and very aggressive. Now, I want to clarify something that a couple of people have asked me about. When I say that I play medium range, I do not mean that every stage of every fight is played from 60 feet away. No. I mean that my main weapon, the weapon that I lead the fight with, is typically most effective at medium range. Once we get a knock or do sufficient damage, that's when we push and put the pressure on close range. This is also why Bloodhound fits my playstyle so well, and why they're so versatile of a legend. If you play short range, for an example with an SMG or shotgun, keeping that scan up constantly and knowing where the enemy team is, and if they're healing or just un out of position, that allows you to stay in their grill and do some pick and poke damage. We'll go into Bloodhound's ultimate later as I think it's also the most effective around this range. If you're playing long range, the legend is also very useful, but I don't see you getting as much out of them in my opinion. Their ultimate allows you to see players more clearly at a distance, and your tactical can help your team from getting pushed, but I think that you're better off using it more aggressively. Bloodhound's kit gives you the luxury of information. If you're going up against a team without a Bloodhound, you're already at a huge advantage just because you have that information. So if you knock somebody, and are in the process of pushing, popping your scan can tell you one, their location behind the walls, two, how close to getting the res off they are or if they're even going for it. A lot of times just that scan will push them off the res. Or three, the most effective path to push. More on that later. One of the main things that people disagree on is the frequency at which you should be scanning. The two main arguments here are scan as often as possible so we can get that information and play aggressively versus only scan when we know there's a team so we don't alert a potential third party. Both of these arguments have their merit and it kind of depends on your team's play style. But personally, I am in the scan as often as possible party. But this is just something you should clarify with your team beforehand or if you're soloing, really whatever fits your play style. So like any other legend, being a good bloodhound, you have to have the fundamentals down. So that includes having good movement, and being able to hit your shots. Once you can do that, these are my four tips on how to most effectively use Bloodhound and how I think you should be using them to get the most out of them. Number one, medium to close range. The weapons I typically run are Havoc or Flatline paired with a 99 or a Volt. Bloodhound's kit just really does well with these kinds of weapons. Number two, start the fight off with a scan. Off the bat, if your team has the information advantage, ideally you will be able to, as a team, pick off the most separated enemy legend. Turning that 3v3 into a 2v3 is huge. If you can do that off the bat, you are great out of the gate. Number three, after you scan, pop your ultimate. Make sure you do it after you scan, that way your cooldown is minimized and you could get the most scans possible. While you're in your ultimate, your scan has a six second cooldown so abuse it. Having that information, having that scan up at all times, that is huge for your teammates. And number four, lastly, the time that you're in your ultimate is when you should be playing the most aggressive, but the least reckless. I often see bloodhounds go into Beast of the Hunt and suddenly they think they're invincible, or so it seems. So a lot of times that's when they die. Use your increased speed and mobility to play aggressively, yes, but use it to flank and reposition to more advantageous angles. Remember to fight smarter, not harder. Constantly changing the angle at which you're fighting makes it a lot harder for your enemies to kill you, or even get a shot on you for that matter. Bloodhound is an extremely fun, extremely effective legend. I see them in a lot of lobbies. Even in the higher tier ranked lobbies, I see Bloodhounds. What's great about them though, is that there's not a huge learning curve. You could get good at Bloodhound pretty quickly. 
Just put the time in and guys, you will be dominating as a bloodhound. And lastly, make sure you're scanning for the next ring. Positioning can be incredibly important, especially if you're in the higher ranked lobbies. So thank you guys so much. Make sure you watch to the end to see how I implement and practice what I preach. You can check me out on Twitch if you're interested. I would really appreciate it. You guys' continued support has really been, it's meant the world to me. So thank you so much. Check me out on Twitch. The information is in the description. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay, I have way too much on spell now. Oh, nice. Purple. Two purples. Damn. I'm going to get this uh, circle. I didn't even realize where you were. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm I hear a car. No, I do hear a car. You would 100% hear a car. Now where it is, I don't know. But I did just hear it though. I see him. I'm on the way. Do we want to approach this? This is a tough push. I do have my ult though as well. I have my ult as well. Okay, let's do it. Because my ultimate can definitely be a little heavier. Raban, oh, you're up, baby. What are you talking about? Mine is the guy that really kills people immediately almost. They're yeah, here, I just here. came in there. Knocked Caustic. Good shit. Caustic's dead. I'm going for the flank. One's dead. So weak, dude. Nice. Oh, Good dead. shit. God, textbook right there, boys. See, all we had to do was just focus a little bit. That's why I like to do sex. That's why I like to do sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Where from? I don't know. Oh, they're over there. They're over there. They're over there. That's why I like the sex. That is why I like to do the sex. I just what hit the blood for like... Oh shit, another team. Another team. There's bounce, two. bounce, bounce. Burn your, burn your ults if you can. I can't, I'm dead. I'm gonna hide in the corner and try. I'm gonna see what I can do to get out of here, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Just in case if they're chasing me. I wonder where this portal goes to, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't know if that might be best. They can't get on this portal, I mean, they get somewhere out of here. Let's push Jason while, he, while he's healing. Yeah, I'm gonna back off. There are. One's down. I broke one. Was it the crypto? I knocked the. I think. I think it's just a gold now. I'm nope. Away, no. I, I'm about to die. Here. Here, I got it. I got it. I'm gonna push this actually, Danny. I'm with you, I'm with you. I see them running, yeah. Dude, nice that shit! Good shit, guys. What the hell, I'm kill leader? That is a great disengage, boys. God, we're fucking amazing at this game. Um, they're fighting over here somewhere. Anybody have an ultimate excel? I just I burned it, sorry. Damn. Let's get in this, let's get in this. Yeah, I'm going. Oh shit. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Back. Yeah, I couldn't. You have dome? Uh, yeah, hold on. Come down here. Oh no, no, no! Weak, one shot. 
God, he's fucking laggy. I need to heal bad. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Get him back. One down. Bro, good shit, I think being given to save your life there, 100%. <laughs> oh, got him. Did you good see shit. how much damage you just took? Oh, <laughs> shit. One more, one more, pat, one more team, one more team. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna see. lie because it's so late. Oh shit! If we're gonna res J Storm, we need to go like now. No, don't even worry about it. To be honest, I think we can. I think if we go around right here. Yeah, I was gonna say I think we can. It's not a matter of can or can't. It's just a matter of we need to probably do it quickly. Yeah, I guess if y'all take me to this one, I can like loot up right here and power grid. Yeah, and there is boxes here, so you could probably get some stuff. Yeah, get, Didn't we start the, the game here? Yes. That's so perfect. Yeah, J-Star, Mastiff and ammo here. I'm looking to see if I see anybody coming. Right here, right here, found him. Perfect. It's a solo. It's a solo? Okay. Oh, I didn't know you were, with, you were down there. I'm here. I just need a shield and then I'm good to get in there. Broken. Oh, I'm trash though. Got him. Yes. Okay. Good yes. shit. That's a game right there, man. That's a fucking game. That's so bad. Like... One more. Damn, boys. Yeah. Although, real quick, hold on. I need to go grab this fucking pizza. I think I no, kind of popped was, off. I was saying one more like that. I was quoting that thing. Holy cow. Okay, I feel like I uh, took a couple kills last time. Something good. Damn, dude. Something. Good fucking game. Almost 20 kills. Almost 20 kills among us all.